Good, good, good morning. I hope you guys are doing good. This is an African reaction today. I'm going to be reacting to basically a video that I saw on the internet of military cooperation between Cameroon, Nigerian army, and the Moroccan army. And I'm going to be analyzing and giving my personal opinion. Or with our entire let's go. He's a Nigerian special force. I'm sure those are the ones with training. So now let's you. Now let's analyze the equipment, tactical vest, tactical pouch. Let me watch if you go back. Tactical hood. They don't have no pouch. And at this, they are supposed to be wearing a tactical belt like this. The British guy. Backpack, tactical pouch, uh, tactical belt, a uh, tactical pouch, second tactical pouch, backpack, helmet. I think this backpack has a hydration system. Exactly. This is nice. You see this? This is what an average, the average African soldier is supposed to look like. Yeah, he got his patch, nice tactical glove, tactical watch, nice Nigerian patch for the special forces, cool, glasses. Cool. Oh, Cameroonian. I ah, like this. is really nice. Yeah. Really nice. Oh. I kind of get the chest and then guy. That's pretty, pretty cute. Sniper rifle. Get this one. Yeah. In my personal opinion, I believe that the Cameroonian army is considered to be one of the most best equipped army in Africa. The belt is not nice. They're supposed to have a tactical belt. Padded. Padded belt. That's my best opinion. Bro. Sunglasses. Dangerous. Best or British guy. Oh, he has everything. Everything. Like, that's how the African, the African tactical world is supposed to look like for African soldiers. Oh, what is this? Probably a drone. So that's a hydration bag. That's not actually a military, but that's a hydration bag. Oh yeah, those are hydration. In my personal personal opinion, I believe the British are the one that makes the best vest in the world. Best, best tactical, best uh, bulletproof vest in the world. Yeah, BSF. I don't know. I wonder what BSF means. Yeah, still missing the tactical pouch. Before they move into all of this, I said they should have used. I'm sure someone there has a drone, they should have used a drone to go to the particular area. Oh, oh, that's cool. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, that's cool. That's a very trendy place. That's a very best, well trained, well equipped troop in Africa, in Eastern Africa, and the Cameroonian and probably Senegalese army. I don't know for the Nigerian army, there's a lot of corruption, there's a lot of stuff that's stuff. But the only thing I have to question when it comes to the Cameroonian is their best. Like, generally, do not like the best that they have. It really, you need to do the best. I don't think that's a cost efficient best because, apart from that, there's nothing that they're well equipped, well organized, especially with the BR. I love this. I love the Oh my god. Nice backpack. I love it. I love the backpack. I love it. Exactly. That's a, that's the difference between the Moroccan soldier and the Cameroon. The Cameroon right here. Let's take a good example. Let's put back. Right here, a bit. Ready his right foot and then move back. And the problem is like the, the Moroccan soldier was supposed to be covering him, but that's how you do That's a, that's a 
Like, is it Nigeria? I think it's a Nigeria special force. Really dangerous. Really dangerous. You see? Watch. Let's rewind this. Right. Pause. You notice the British guy peeps around and he's like going to back. The African soldiers do not bother. Dangerous. But we have to admire the equipment. Pretty good. Tactical glove. I think star cover tiles of gun, pretty cool. Tactical vest, amazing. This thing, but this they need pouches, they need tactical pouches. Tactical pouches are essential. I like that. To be honest, I really admire this footage. This is a good cooperation between African troops. I just genuinely have the time to analyze. So, if you have videos about African soldiers training together, it's good because I think there must be. There must be. That's one thing I'm gonna say. I genuinely and I sincerely, without wasting time, I sincerely and sincerely love the training and everything. And I think that more African government, African government should invest more money into equipping their soldiers because. With the rise of terrorism, they are going to have to allocate a higher budget to fight terrorism because the Western are going to do what they can. The Russians are going to do what they can. But at the end of the day, the fight is left on their own. And like I always say, if we do not fight terrorism now, guess what? If the ter Because right now, this is my analogy. I believe right now the terrorists are just playing. They are not seriously at war. Boko Haram showed how serious they can be. I think the vast majority of the groups are just playing right now. But I'm sure if they consolidate with Boko Haram and all the various group operate and they have a consolidation among them, not only do they have a group, but they have a, a, a well dug, well structured command center, and they decide to launch military, uh, uh, decide to launch military operation. We're gonna need help, the help of God, to fight them out because they will overwhelm our military defenses and our security force more quicker than we expect. But apart from that, I genuinely love the equipment. Everything that was invested in this, I genuinely love it. And this is the beginning of a modernization. And I think African African government should invest in the, comp the, the building of military complex and the stroke of a military industrial complex. I know Kenya has one. I know South Africa has one. I know Nigeria has one. I know I don't know for Ghana. But I know these are the efficient ones. On West Africa, probably Senegal. So that's it. This was an African reaction. Thank you. Happy New Year. And I hope to see you guys on my channel. And may this year be a wonderful year for you. Thank you. And thank you for the, for the view and everything. Thank you.